Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Timmy Treacle, also known as Horror Fan for Live. And I have a couple new reviews for you guys. Yes, they will be on the trilogy, The Fifty Shades of Grey. Now, for those of you who haven't seen my review of the first film, check it out on my channel. The next two are the sequels, and I can't wait to get into those. First one is... Fifty Shades Darker. And this movie was released on February 10th, 2017. It is an erotic romantic drama film that has an average grade of a B plus on cinema score and has a 4.6 out of 10 on IMDb, an 11% on Rotten Tomatoes, and a 78% on Google. Now, the movie had a $55 million budget it made $381 million at the box office. And it was directed by James Foley and written by Niall Leonard. And it's based on E.L. James novels, of course. And it stars Dakota Johnson and Jamie Dornan as Christian Grey and Anastasia Steele, respectfully. And in this movie, we find the beginning that uh, they are at odds and not really seeing each other. And, of course, it gets a little cheesy, but eventually they get back together. She agrees to uh, new terms on, on uh, for her as far as the relationship goes. Eventually, this leads to him proposing uh, to her and whatnot. Uh, there is a... Uh, incident in the movie where uh, Christian goes missing which I will explain what it is uh, but that's what we get in this movie they, they're they not together at the beginning of the movie, they get together there's a lot of sex or as my niece Autumn says thrusting titties uh, that's a long story that's uh, private with me and uh, my family, but uh, that was just just funny, just great. Anywho, getting back to the movie, uh, I did actually enjoy the sequel, just a little bit more than the original. Um, actually, quite more. Uh, I like the story. I like the direction they took the characters. Um, the sex scenes, I think, were done a little bit better, uh, but they weren't overly long. Uh, at some points, they just showed a little bit, and we're done with it. And um, I appreciated that. Uh, and the first movie, which I've gone on about, uh, they they were really bad. The chemistry in this movie seems to be a little bit better. They're more comfortable with one another, and I like the story a lot more uh, than the first one. And uh, I like the, I like more of the characters uh, outside of those two even better. But uh, with that, I will give uh, Fifty Shades Darker a seven out of ten. And uh, yeah, I'll I'll give it two thumbs up. I I enjoyed the sequel a hell of a lot better than the original movie. Not saying it's perfect because it's not. There are some issues with the movie. As I said, uh, the sex scenes got better. They still weren't great. Uh, some of the dialogue was cheesy. The beginning of the movie uh, was cheesy and predictable. And uh, a couple of the characters in the movie, I really didn't feel were, were necessary for this film. But that's just my opinion. I'm not going to go into a lot of great details about that. But... Overall, though, this was a much enjoyable movie. So in the comment section below, if you've seen it, give me your thoughts and opinions. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you like this review, hit that like button. And now let me know, did you think this one is better than the original? Let me know your thoughts and uh, opinions on this movie. And uh, stay tuned for my review of the last film in the trilogy, Fifty Shades Freed. And until then, I thank you guys for watching, and check you later.